Today I'm going to show you how to make this easy beanie. So, it's, I did this in about two hours. It's very easy to do and it looks great. This is the materials you're going to need. You need two yarns. You can pick any colors, but I've picked, um, there are Red Heart and they are Worsted number four. So both of them are medium worsted number four. So whatever two colors you pick, make sure that they match. They have to match the fact that they are worsted. They are 100% acrylic and the fact they're number four. So this, because of the elasticity, you want it to all be nice and tight. And so they match together. Okay, so any two colors you like. So those are the two colors that I've picked. Okay, so I want to show you how I hold my yarn. I just kind of take it off the spool and you have to make sure that it is tight so it's all even. To do that is when you want to wrap it around your fingers and the virtue you're controlling the tightness and it slipped through your fingers, you're controlling it. So it's a size nine because it's nice and big. That's the one I want to use. There's two ways to begin. Uh, you can either do a slip knot or you can do a magic circle. I will show you both. To begin, there's two ways of doing this. You can do either a slip knot, and I'll show you how to do that. Wrap around once, cross it in the back like so, pull the yarn through, insert your crochet hook, pull it tight like so, pick up your yarn on your hand, and chain four. So one, two, three, four, slip stitch into the first, Make sure there's both of them on it and pull through both. There you go. That creates your hole that you can going to crochet into. Or there's the other one that's called the magic circle and I'm going to show you how to do that. You start the same way as a slip knot. Once around your finger, cross it around the back, feed it through. Okay, exactly the same as a slip knot, only this time I'm not pulling it tight. I'm keeping it loose. Picking up the yarn, I'm just holding on to the back, chaining once. Okay, now watch what happens. As soon as I let go, of the uh, pull it through, this kind of twists like this. That's okay. This is the circle that we, we want to crochet in. Okay, so and that is a magic circle. So now you're just going to crochet into that. Okay, so let us begin. And we're going to do um, six single crochet which means you insert, hook, pull through, insert, hook through, pull through both. And again, if you get the looseness, you got to hold it tight because that's the thing about the using this. It has to be tight. Okay. And, and you know, when you're starting out and if you get stuck or something gets messed up, just undo. Okay, so that is our magic circle. So now we're going to crochet in here. Sorry, that was our six. So we did six already. Now we're going to carry on. Now the next one, what we want to do is we want to do double. We want to increase. By increasing, we're going to be uh, crocheting double, which means twice into each of our stitches. In order to do that, we got to close the circle. So you have to find to join together the slip stitch. So turn it around and you can see how this side looks different. So make sure it's like this and then this side looks different. So I'm going to find my first stitch. Make sure that it's two. Go under. Okay, make sure my tail's at the bottom end. And I'm going to pull it through. That's my slip stitch to join. Now I want to mark this. Okay, so I'm going to chain up two and I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to chain up two and I'm going to take a any kind of yarn that's different color from the one I'm using. And I've got a piece of orange one right here and I'm just gonna put it right behind my two chain. Okay, so that is our marker. So, and again, so now we're gonna go find it all the way around. There should be six, so if you count them, you know you're right. So you wanna end up with 12 in the end. Okay, so let's just start. So to do this, now that we've done the single crochet, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start our double crochet. That means you pick up the yarn, you're going to find your beginning, your stitch in the beginning, and there's my number one, and if it's hard to pick up, use your finger, help yourself. 
Okay, so that's pulling through once, and that's over two. Pick up the yarn and over two. Okay, so again, because we're going twice into the same hole, I'm going to go do it again. So pick up the yarn, going through, pick up the yarn, pulling it through. Pick up the yarn, pulling through two, pick up the yarn, pulling through the next two. So now I've done my first one. I'm moving on to my second stitch. So my second one is, we're just going to go over two, so make sure there, there's a purple and a red over. Okay, so pick up our yarn. And going through two, pick up a yarn, going through two. Now into the same hole again. Pick up a yarn in, pick it up, through, pick it up, and pulling it through two, and picking it up and pulling it through two. Okay, so, and then again, if you're not sure, count them. You can see your stitches and what you've done. Okay, so I need to do the second one in here. I'm moving on to my third one and um, it is tight when you're first starting out but that's okay because you want your hat the top of your head to be fairly tight so you just carry on and do this routine you go twice into each of those stitches which means you had six stitches and you want to go in twice into each one so that means you'll end up with 12 at the top okay and if you count that then you you won't get confused I'm just going to finish on my own and when I get to the end, I'll come back. To the end of my row, which should look like this. And I'm just going to, now you can see where the marker is. This is where our chain, where we chained up to. So this is where we have to slip stitch to join. And we just insert in there and we pull it through like so. Okay, so I'm going to take my marker out and I'm going to chain two. One, two. So now I'm going to put the marker back right underneath the chain and this will help us and now the next one is when we start this will be row number three this is where we actually start our pattern and our pattern is going to be we're going to crochet twice into the first hole so let's just do that so that's once okay so using our double crochet okay so that's once and I'm going to go again into the same hole okay so that's twice and now for the next one is going to be just once. Okay, so that's once. So now again, I'm going to go twice into this next hole and then once into the next one and twice and once. And that is our pattern all the way around. So you should um, normally, like when you're crocheting with one, just a single thread or single yarn, you would go underneath the chain. The chain has two, because it's like a V. And to, to do, for us to go underneath that, it would mean going over four, and that's too difficult and doesn't give it that rugged look. So this is why we're kind of actually, we are stitching into the chain. So just make sure you always pick up two. So you should have a red and a purple or whatever two colors you're using. Okay, so let's carry on our pattern which is twice into the first hole and once into the next one and all the way around and I'm just going to finish on my own and I'll be back once I'm finished that row. This was row number four so we're going to chain Two, remove our marker and put it behind our chain. Marker, it's going to slip stitch to join. All right, and we're going to pull our marker out and uh, just moving on to the next row. Now, at this point, you can go ahead and pull your magic circle tight if you like, or you can just leave it loose. It makes it um, easier to crochet when it's just a bit looser. Okay, so next row, let's uh, chain up two. So that's one, two, and put our marker right there behind our chain. And now for this pattern, for this row, uh, this is our um, fourth row. What we want to do is we want to crochet twice into the first and then once and once and twice 
and once and once. So that's our pattern all the way around. So let's just start. So the first one is going to be twice. So. So that's once and that's twice into that same hole. Okay, so the next two are going to be just once. So we'll go under and go. So that's once and once. Okay, the next one is going to be twice into that hole. And again into the same hole. Okay, and then the next one is going to be once and once. And then again twice, once and once. All the way around. And I'm just going to finish it on my own. We reached the end of our row. So we're just going to slip stitch to join. And there we are. And we're going to move our marker out. Chain two. Two and put our marker back behind our chain and now for this row this is our fifth row we're going to be crocheting twice in the first hole and then once in the next three holes so that's going to be our pattern all the way around okay so in the first hole we're going to go twice okay so that's once and into the same hole and that's our second. Okay, and now for the next three, we'll just crochet once. So that's one. And that's two. And that's three. Okay, so now I'm going to go again twice, and this is the pattern we want all the way around. Okay, so twice into this one, so once, twice into the same hole, and then for the next three, we're going to go into only once, all the way around, and I'll just finish it, and I'll come back when I'm done. Reach the end of our row, and I'm just going to slip stitch to join, there it is. Okay, so remove our marker, chain two, and put our marker back. We have a marker in place. We're on row number six. The pattern here is going to be you're going to crochet twice in the first one and then once, 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 once. So for the next four, you're going to go only once and then twice again into that hole and then just once into the next four okay so let's just begin and pick up our yarn and our first one is right here also I wanted to mention I'll just do this first so and that's one and into the same hole twice okay so now for the next four we're just going to do a single crochet So that's once, twice, and three times, and one more. So that's four. Okay, so again, now for this one, we're going to be going twice into this hole. So we'll go twice, one, two, same hole, and then one, two, three, four, just once. That's going to be our pattern throughout, going all the way around. I'll meet you on the other side. What I wanted to say is when you're single crocheting, you want to go under the V, so you're going two. If you notice, I have two yarn. For me to go under the V, I would have to go under four. That makes it too bulky, so I will always go under two two when I'm doing this. Okay, so I'm going to carry on and I'll see you when I get around. Um, I've come to the end of my row. 
So I'm just going to join them. Here we go. And remove my marker. Chain two. That's one, two. Put my marker back and we are ready for the next row. So now we're on row number eight. And uh, for this pattern, we're going to, we're still increasing and we're going to be going uh, double. So twice into the first hole. And then for the next six, you're going to go only once. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then twice again. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then twice again. Keep going all the way around. Okay, so let's begin. So we're in the first one here. Oops, it's a little tight. Here we are. Let's begin. So this is the first one. We're going to go in here twice. So that's once and twice. And now for the next six, we're just going to crochet once. One, that's two, that's three, Okay, and now we go twice into this one. So there's once and there's twice. Okay, begin row number nine is to, this is where you have to kind of figure out. If you have a smaller head, then you want to do a single crochet into every stitch all the way around. If you have a medium sized head, then you want to do um, a double to begin with and then single halfway through all the way until you reach halfway and then do one doubles, which means you crochet twice into the same stitch. The first hole right there. Okay, so we'll go once and twice. So now we're going to go once into each stitch all the way around till we get halfway through. We're about halfway through. So you can tell because the marker is here. So just when you open it up, it's about halfway. So, so that means that we're going to be doing, we're going to be going twice into the next hole. So let's just find our yarn here. There we go. So that's once. And one more time into the same stitch. There we go. And now we're just going to go once into every one till we reach the end. Larger head, you want to do it by four, which means you're starting off with uh, doing a double and then single, single, single till you get a quarter way. And then you do twice in that same hole and then all the way to halfway twice in that same hole, single, single, all the way to three quarters. And you do twice in that same stitch and then all the way to the end single. Okay, since I have a smaller head, I'm just gonna carry on and do one in each stitch. And I'll begin and I'll see you when I'm, I'm done this row. we reached the end of our round so slip stitch to join and chain two move our marker place it here okay so this is our round 10 
So this time what we're going to do, we're going to go once only into every stitch all the way around. So just once. Okay, and uh, we'll just carry on. And I'll just finish it on my own. And um, I'll see you back here once we're done. Yay. And I've come to the end of the row and I'm just going to slip stitch to close it. Okay, moving our marker, chain two, and we have reached row number 11, final row, if that's what I desire, but if you want longer you can keep going. But this is our last row, so again we're going to be doing sing so once, only once into every stitch all the way around. Okay, so let's begin and um, I'll just finish it up on my own and I will see you once I get all the way around. So I've reached the end of the row. So I, oh, there's one more stitch here, so I'll just finish that. And um, now we're going to close it, slip stitch to join. And here we are. So now at this point, just pull it through like so and try it on. Try it on to make sure that it fits. Okay, so this has to fit your, fit your head. So I will just pan up here and we'll try it on in our trusted head. Well, it's not kind of finished, but there we go. Oops, it's all crooked, but something like that. Okay, so we know it fits. So I tried it on and it fits perfect for me. So I'm gonna just finish this off and I'll show you how to finish it. If your head, if you find it, if it's not, if it's too snug and you want to loosen it, just, you know, take this apart and then um, increase, you know how we increased? We, um, we go one and we kind of do double in one and do one one and do double in one. Okay, that'll make it just a little bit looser, but kind of you want to undo at least half and you want to double one here and maybe double one there. That'll just kind of increase it. If you find that it's too loose, again, just, you know, take about half of it apart and then skip one, you know, here and then skip another one there. So that'll tighten it. If you find that it's too short and if you want to add more length, then just chain up two and go single all the way around for another one, okay? So let's just finish it. So to me, it's good. So I'm just gonna cut it. So I, this is my slip stitch and I'm happy with the length. And I'm just gonna take a pair of scissors and cut it. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull it through. Okay, there we are. Okay, and that's nice and tight. So at this point, what I'm going to do is on the opposite end, I'm gonna weave it in all the way around here using a tapestry needle. If you do not have a tapestry needle, just use your hands. You know, you can just use your hands and just weave it in like so. Okay, and hook it through, or you can use your crochet hook, um, which I've done before lots of times. And you just kind of weave it in like that. And, um, okay. So just weave it in okay, all the way around. Or if you have a needle and you just want to thread the needle. And um, so we still have to close our magic circle. We haven't done so. So we're going to go do that in a second as soon as we finished weaving this in. Okay, so with the needle it's a little bit simpler. Oops, because you kind of want to go just under. So I want to go under two. So it looks more natural, like so, like so, and then I'll just pull it. There it is. Okay. Okay, and then you kind of go like this, and if you don't want a longer tail, then you just cut it. I'm just going to pull it in for now and I'm gonna cut it down here in a second. I just wanted to show you how to finish this 
off. Okay, so remember our magic circle? So now it's the time to close it. So we're just going to hold it here and we're going to pull. Okay, look how that nicely that closes. That just closes it beautiful. And I'm just going to take my crochet needle and come out here. I'm going to pull it in. Okay. So. Pulled it in. So I'm going to show you. So here it is. So at this point, I'm going to pull it even tighter. So it's, okay. Now nobody will open this. That's how tight that is. So at this point, again, I'm going to weave this in using a needle or you can use your hook. So we'll just go ahead and weave it in. And I'll do that on my own. And I just wanted to show you. And there is our finished product. There it is. Well, thank you for watching and happy crocheting everyone. Using a two yarn, the red and the purple, or if you like, you can just use one color. Okay, so let's 